want to start by saying congrats on the movie. I put on Twitter that I was going to talk to the both of you, and something that struck me was the amount of people that said that you had written John some email and then you deleted it after <laughs> seeing the first movie. Could you sort of explain this? Yeah, no, it, the story is I saw the movie with my kids in the cinema, and I we were all blown away, like genuinely. I thought it was one of the best movies of the year, and I... Uh, I, I occasionally reach out to other artists to say, look, man, I, or woman, I think that was an extraordinary, yeah, right. an extraordinary piece of work. Um, and I wrote the email, and then I just felt like that was too cheesy, and I didn't know him, so I just deleted it. I never sent it. And when did he learn that you were going to send him this email? Well, he emailed me then a year later about the movie, so it sort of worked out. That's actually That's amazing. That's a great story, yeah. Right. Uh, it's amazing. Um, for, yeah, true. Yeah, uh, for, for both of you guys, um, with the quality of the first film, how much are you like when they when they talk to you about taking on a role? How much are you sort of like whatever's on the page? I know John's going to deliver. And how much are you looking at the script? Do you know what I mean? Could you sort of talk about that? Uh, the one thing I can say is that uh, I, I came on board of the film almost at the tail end of it. Uh, or killing already came, you know, <laughs> look, looking like he just came from war. <laughs> uh, but, um, I, because, and I did not have the whole script. I only had my scenes. And that was uh, satisfying, you know, I mean, because I knew how well he did with the first one and, uh, and the fact that he was all the whole, the same team was around, you know, came uh, uh, together again to make the second one. That was quite uh, reassuring that, uh, you know, uh, again, they, they have a very, you know, a, a good idea where they're going with that story. And certainly I wasn't quite concerned about, uh, you know, w how the story came about or what the story is on, on, on the second one. So I just joined blindfully. Uh, yeah, it was beautiful. I mean, the experience was beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for you? What was the question again? Oh, basically, so when John reached out to you, was, yeah. was it sort of like, yeah, I'm in, I don't even have to see the script, or were you like, I need the, I need the script? Oh, no, I mean, I, I, I always read the script. I mean, uh, uh, um, that's, that's the basis of the choice. I mean, I knew how excellent the first movie was, I, and I was, ex I, I, I was just blown away by how perfectly formed a director John Krasinski was and how he, what a master of tension he was. <laughs> um, it just seemed to come out of nowhere. And, and then uh, I read the first, or this script, and it's a quite, it was a quite a slim document, you know, it's like, it was like 70 pages or 80 pages, mm -hmm. something like that, because it's mostly stage directions, obviously. But uh, it was amazing, and it, it was everything that I'd hoped it would be. And then, you know, as John said, the fact that the whole team were coming back, and the movie felt more like a continuation yeah. of the first story as opposed to a traditional sequel, right. you know? Uh, so uh, it was, yeah, straight away, yes, yeah. Um, before I run out of time, uh, I'm a big fan of the Marvel movies, like everyone who reads Collider. Um, and I believe you're doing an episode of What If? Or oh, yes, yes, yes. Right. Yes. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, exactly. <laughs> you're like, wait, I am in that. Uh, uh, yes, I am. Um, can that. you, uh, have you recorded your lines for that yet? Can you tease anything about it? He's good of at those this tension. You're right. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> uh, no, I, I it really, uh, honestly, I, I, there's not much I can share with you. It's been so long, and uh, I've recorded something, and I can't really uh, get my head around what we've uh, recorded so far and uh, what the story is about. Mm, you know, I'm really... I have no clue. Sure. Well, th that's the thing that I think so many people are excited about with What If, yeah. which is it's like an alt version of what could have happened. Yes. And so I'm, I'm very excited to see this animation. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think it will be exciting just based on the What If. <laughs> exactly. <laughs>